Hello, Salem Kaiser community. Welcome to this new world of learning. Your students' privacy and safety while using the internet is important to the Salem Kaiser School District. We would like to share with you how you can keep your child safe at home while using the internet and to protect their privacy. The first thing parents need to know regarding internet safety involves a federal law. The Children's Online Privacy Protection Act helps protect children who are under the age of 13 while they are online. This law was created to keep anyone from getting a child's personal information without a parent's permission first. The law requires internet websites to get a parent's permission before they can get or use a child who is under the age of 13's personal information, such as their name, address, or social security number. One strategy parents can use to control their child's access to inappropriate material and to help protect them from the dangers of the internet, like marketing, mature content, and chat rooms, is the use of online tools. Many internet service providers give parents options to use parental control features that limit internet sites your child can access, as well as the times of day they can access them. One potential app for parental controls is the Questodio app. Questodio comes in both a free and premium version, with the free version covering one device at a time with fairly limited activity monitoring options included. Please go to this website for additional information and options you could choose to support your parental control features from home. Here are the basic guidelines that parents should share with their kids for safe online internet use. Set family rules around internet use and follow them. Never post or trade personal pictures, Never reveal personal information, such as your child's full name, address, school name, or location. Always use a screen name rather than the child's real name, and only share passwords with parents. Never agree to meet individuals you meet online in person without a parent's approval and parental supervision. Never respond to messages, texts, emails, or posts that contain threats. Always tell a trusted adult if you have an online communication that is hurtful or scary. There are also five basic guidelines that parents should follow to supervise their student online. One, spend time with your children online together to teach your kids about appropriate online behavior. Two, keep the computer in a common area when, where you can monitor your children while online. Avoid having computers in individual children's bedrooms. Three, bookmark your child's favorite internet sites so they can find them easily. Four, regularly check your credit card and phone bills for unfamiliar charges. Five, Check in with your child regularly so that they feel comfortable reporting any online communication that is hurtful or that scares your child. Children can be curious from time to time and may attempt to look at things that are unsafe. As a parent or guardian, you can check your student's browser history in a few easy steps. First, open your student's Chromebook and open an internet browser like Google Chrome. Once you are in Google Chrome, click on the three dots that look like this. After you do this, you will see a drop-down list of options. Move your pointer over the word history. At this point, a new menu will pop up on the left side. Slide your pointer to the left while staying in the gray highlighted area and click on history in this new menu. After clicking on history, you will see a list of every web page your student has accessed and the time they accessed it. By regularly checking your student's browser history, you can ensure they are practicing safe internet usage. Following these guidelines can help keep your child safe while using the internet. Please contact your child's teacher or school if you need additional support around the topic of internet safety. Please also contact the School Technology Hotline at 971-373-6114. We look forward to partnering with you around your child's educational experience.